And that is it. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, CD Jr. MK9 champion. What's up, guys? CD Jr. here, the MOG Columbus Mortal Kombat champion, here to give you some tips on how to master Ermac. All right, guys, here's the default button configuration for Mortal Kombat. From this point on, I'm going to be referring to front punch as one, back punch as two, front kick as three, and back kick as four. Got it? Now let's get started. Round one, fight! Okay, so here we have Ermac. Ermac is good at rushing you down, and he's also good at keeping you away with force push moves. However, just like Smoke, he has a lot of trouble with people that are close because he does not have an armor move, and it's really hard to get people off. So let's get into his special moves. First one is called the force push. It's performed by doing back four one, it has a lot of reach, and it's safe on block against most characters. The good thing about this move is, you don't really see when he does it, because how fast it is, it's just like, a, like an invisible projectile, you can say, that pushes you. But the downside on the move is that if you do it close and it's blocked, you get punished for it. So it's best to use this move from mid-screen. Okay, so now that we covered the force push, let's go into his other special move, which is my favorite because you could get a combo. It's called the force lift. It is performed by doing down, back, down. The move has all right reach, you have to be a little close to your opponent to do it. The good thing about it is, you can get a combo, as you can see. Just like the force push, you do not want to do this move, not even from max range, because it's not safe on block at all. You can get punished for it. Okay, so we call the force lift, now let's go into his fireball, which is performed by going down back. Push. The move is good because it does 8% damage, it's safe on block. The only downside of the move is that if your opponent baits it, he could get a jump in and you could get punished for it. Okay, so now let's go into his other special, the teleport punch. Teleport punch is good because he could tell he hits you and teleports behind you. You could do it in the air, and if your opponent throws a fireball for full screen, you could punish him with a teleport. The good thing about the teleport is that when it hits your opponent, it stuns them and you can apply pressure right away. And this brings us to Ermac's last special move, which is called the hover slam. It's performed by doing down, down, up, no buttons. Just down, down, up. This move is okay because the slant is unblockable, but in competitive play, you will never see an Ermac player using this move because it's easily punishable, and it's just not a really good special move. Okay, now let's go into some combos. The first one is really basic. The inputs to execute this combo are jump and punch, three, one, lift, jump and kick, teleport punch, dash forward, Two, two, force push. All right, so now let's go into my favorite Ermac combo. The timing on this combo is a little tricky, but once you get it down, you will never miss. To do this combo, you gotta do jump and punch, three, one, lift, dash, uppercut, dash towards your opponent, standing one, extra. Now remember guys, to do this combo, you gotta have a full meter because you end the combo with an extra. You learn the special moves, you learn the combos, now it's time to finish them with pass control. One of the funniest fatalities in the whole game, and it's performed by going forward, back, forward, down, forward. Ermac wins. Fatality. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the tips for Ermac. Make sure to check out MajorLeagueGaming.com slash NOS for more NOS performance videos.